and day August 8th, 2022. It is also day 385 of web dev. And today I'm just going to set up my site again for my JS practice later. But essentially, I'm just going to make a site all about volleyball. And then later, I'm going to change it to be all about um, hockey using JS only. So I'll start in with my head tag. And inside my head tag, I'm just going to put one meta tag. And I'm going to talk about the viewport. And about the viewport, I'm going to access its contents, specifically the width of the viewport. And I'm going to set it equal to be the device width. Um, with an initial scale of 1.0. Basically what this means is when you're on your mobile device, when you're on your phone basically, you're only going to be able to see the mobile view of my site right, rather than the desktop view because the width of the viewport, which is what you're looking at my site, is going to be equal to the device width, which is in your case your phone width. So that's that's that. And then for the body tag, I'll go and um, create a container as I always do and label it with a class container. So I'll do that and then I'll target it using my CSS. I'll do dot container because it's a class and I'll just give it a border of five pixels black solid. And then what else am I going to do? Oh yeah, give it a height of 100 VH, vertical height of the screen. And then I'm going to apply it to everything, so the star, so whatever I put, um, whatever properties I set here is applied to everything. So I just want to zero out the margin and zero out the padding to get rid of those. And set the box sizing to border box. Okay, and then... Um, this is a property that I still have to really learn about, so I'm not going to bother explaining, but I just, it doesn't, it doesn't really do that drastic of a difference. It has to do with like padding and keeping everything within a div and whatever, but yeah. All right. Everything else though, we're good on it. So inside the container, um, there's going to be two things. There's going to be a header. Whoops. I mean, there is a header tag, but I'm just going to call it a header. And then there's also a showcase because what I'm going to do is basically a landing page. And I'm also going to make sure that I give this an ID of showcase for later so that I could just target it. Um, so inside the header, there's going to be two things. There's going to be my logo. So I'm going to do this ID logo because there's only one logo and leave that like that. And then there's also going to be a nav bar. So I'm going to say class nav bar. And in a nav bar, it's your links, your navigation bar. So it's going to be a list of links. So I'm just going to use an unordered list. And then I'm going to put list items, which are basically LI tags. So I'll do list item and then I'll end the list item. And within each list item is going to be an A tag because that's going to be my link that leads to nowhere, which is what the hashtag represents. So I'm going to say like home. And then that's my first item. I'm just gonna copy this, paste that in there. Whoops. Okay, and then paste that a few more times. And then I'll change this to the contact. Um, let's say, what do people usually have in sport websites? Um, games or maybe tournaments. That is how you spell tournaments, right? And then, I don't know, um, let's see. Tickets? That doesn't even look, I don't even know. Tournaments, um, tickets, or maybe like highlights. Highlights, and then, let's see, tickets, okay, whatever. Um, and then, what else? Okay, so in the showcase, there's going to be content. Obviously, it's going to be a div, and I'm going to call it content and then inside here I'm just going to have like an h1 and I'm going to say all about or actually let me do like a uh, volleyball volleyball sports team h1 and then I'm also going to have a button there and that leads to nowhere and I'm going to say like I don't know um explore all right something like that and then i'm going to give this an id of btn and a class 
of um, link. So BTN stands for button. And then I'll just go ahead and give these a class of link also so that I don't have to like rewrite the same styles for all the tags. So I'll do that. All right, so that's that. That's literally all my HTML um, besides the logo, which I need to find. So let me do that. All right, so I found the logo. I'm just going to recolor it to be um, white so that it stands out against the image that I'm going to use later. Copy image address. I'll go back over here and, oh, no, yeah, I don't put the logo here. I forgot about that. Let me just do it real quick here. So then I'll hashtag logo because it's an ID set the background to with a URL and paste that URL in there it's going to be a long one because I recolored it um, set the width to be 50 pixels um, height 50 pixels and background size uh, let's see cover and I'm not seeing it yet because it's uh it's white so I'm obviously not going to see it but once I put the background it should work um so I'll do that then I'll target the showcase because that's where the background is and I'll say background and I'll set the URL to be the background image which I get from Unsplash which I think I'm going to do this one copy image address go back paste that in there that's nice and pretty now I'm going to make sure that the showcase has a width of 100% of the container and a height of 100% also and then I'll go and say background size, oops, that's not useful size, okay, cover, and then I'll look at debug mode so I can see what it looks like so far. Okay, that's what it's looking like. All right, and I need it to be at the top. So the reason why it's not at the top is because the header is above it. And so what I need to do is I need to target the header and give it a position of absolute, which makes it have nothing to do with any other element. And then now you can clearly see the volleyball. All right. So now I'll go back to actually I'll stay with the header and I'll just give it a border so I can see what I'm working with. Five pixels white solid. And I'll make sure that it has a width of a percent. And then I'll move it from the left maybe um, 15%. Or 12% and then it should move more towards the middle so that's what we have so far and then from the top I'll do 5% so it moves a little bit downwards so that there's space between the top and you know the header now here's a problem the header I don't want the things to be on top of each other I want the things to be next to each other and so what I'll do is I know that the logo and the navigation bar is what I want to be next to each other and so what I'll do is I'll look to where they are so the header and the logo are both inside the container and I'm sorry, not the header and the logo. The logo and the nav bar are both inside the header. And so because of that, I'll go ahead and target the header and give it a display of flex so that everything inside the header becomes a flex item. And now they'll all move to the side, right? To be next to each other. Because by default, there's a flex property called flex direction that is set to row by default. And it moves all the flex items right inside the container. So that would be the logo and the navigation bar to be in the same row versus if I did column it would be back to where it was but like column wise so I don't need that though because it's already by default row um, I do want though to the links to be all the way towards the end so what I'll do is I'll justify the content and say space between so there's space between the nav bar and the logo and that's really nice justify content is a flex property it doesn't work if you do not have the container set as flex and by the container I mean whatever um whatever element or whatever class or ID has a display of flex that would be the flex container all right now I notice that the links themselves are on top of each other and so I'll apply the same principle if I know that the links right if I look at all the links they are inside the ul and so it's the ul that I have to make a flex container so I'll go ahead and target the nav bar on order list and I'll set that to have a display of flex and then um, that should move right all to be all in the same row and then I'll give it a gap of 2 EM. And now notice one thing, if I kind of shrink, it kind of does, it doesn't, it's not kind of, it just doesn't wrap, right? They just, you don't see them anymore. And so to fix that, I can use a flex property called flex wrap to have the links wrap around each other 
when I hover, I mean when I shrink, right? So now you can see they're wrapping around each other really nicely. All right, um, then I obviously want them to be a little bit down. So if I actually give this a border, so I can actually see the border of it, right? I'll be able to see the UL. Clearly it's all the way to the top. And so what I need that is I need that to be centered. And I know that the UL is inside the nav bar. So I'll go ahead and target the nav bar and I'll just give the nav bar a display of flex so that I can align it towards the center like that. Now it's in the middle. Beautiful, right? Okay, now here's another thing. Get rid of the bullet points. That is a list item property. And so I have to target the list item. So I'll do navbar ULLI. And then um, I'll take the list style. This is the property and set that to none because currently it's set to have a bullet point. And then the underline and the color of the text themselves have to be, or they don't have to be, but they are an A tag property. So I have to target the A tags. Um, so that would be UL. Li. Actually, in this case, I can just target dot link because I gave all of my links the same like class link. I can change the color to be white for now, and I can remove the text decoration by saying none because right now it's set to underline. All right, so that moves those things. And then I can also set the font size to let's say 20 pixels. And then I'm also going to go to Google Fonts and get a nice font that's really good with um text links and that's lato so if you search it up you add it to your family regular 400 i copy the link right and i paste that inside my html within the head tags and now i go back and i just copy the css rule and now i paste that in there and it and then my browser is going to know where i'm getting that font from and because I pasted the source, basically, I cited the source within the head tag in the HTML. All right, so now you can see that happening there. So let's look at what we have so far. All right, so that's that. Now let's move on to the showcase. So the showcase itself, um, I need the content. The content is what's inside the showcase. Everything needs to be white so that changes the volleyball sports team. I also need... Um, it to be in the center like this is like the volleyball sports team needs to be in the center And so if I know that the content is within the showcase Then I need to make the showcase have a display of flex and so I'll target the showcase Which I already did over here and I'll just give it a display flex and justify content center and that's going to move um, these the text all the way to the center horizontally and then align when I spell it right, let me go back and spell it right. Center moves it um, vertically. Where just justify. Okay, there we go. Um, and then here's the thing. I can also give it a linear gradient. So I'll do linear gradient. That's not how you spell gradient. So that the text can be seen a little bit better, comma. And then just put in an RGBA comma rgba parentheses okay and then here i'll just put three 0 0.77s and then one 0 0.7 and i'll go ahead and just paste that just the values inside in the second rgba paste that in there and then there should be an overlay and now it's looking like that beautiful okay now for the content itself i'm going to change the font size to be something like 50 pixels and then I need the content to be aligned in the center, like so. Let me just see what it looks like. And then I need the H1 to have a width of, let's say, three, 400 pixels maybe. Let me see. Volleyball sports team. And then volleyball sports. Maybe I'll get rid of the team. Instead, just change it to volleyball and I'll, oh and one more thing I'll add a span tag um, around this and call it the subject or at least the sport I'll call it the sport and then just go ahead and end that because the sport is basically what I'm changing all right and paste that in there all right and then it's looking like that okay 
And then I can go ahead and target the button itself, which I gave a hashtag BTN and that's this button over here in the showcase. I can give it a background of white and then I can change the color to be black. And then I can give, there a, um, give it a padding of 10 pixels, top and bottom, 12 pixels, left and right. And then I can just look at it now. It's looking good. All right. And then let's see what else do I want to do. I can maybe change the background color to be some sort of yellowish color. Something like this maybe. And see how that would turn out to be. So hashtag paste that color in there and see if that's pretty. I don't think so. Do I like it? I don't even know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Let me remove any borders that I see in my CSS because we're pretty much done now. So let me get rid of the border over here. And let me get rid of the border for the nav bar and the header. Where's the nav bar? Oh, over here. That's the UL. All right, and this is the final result. Now, there is one more thing that I wanted to do. I basically wanted to have one link at least go to, like, oh, maybe the explore one. Okay, so. Here's the thing though. Um, let me go. Where is it? Oh, I have a Wikipedia page of volleyball. So I'll just copy that and then I'll go and change the href to that link. And so now if I reload and I click on explore, it should bring me to the volleyball Wikipedia page. All right. So that's literally it. It's also responsive, right? Um, as much as it can be. And, um, con that, I can't, wow, I didn't spell contact right. Contact. All right, let me do that again. Oops, I am going all over the place. Okay, I think that's a little bit better, right? That's nice, sir. All right, and that's it for today. I should really work on adding, like, some hover animations over here. I did one one day, but that was just practice. Let me see. Yeah, no. You know what I could do though? Um, there is a border, five pixels. There's a border radius. Maybe I can give it a border bottom. Hold up. Let me do. Let me try something real quick. So for the links, let's see. Um. For the nav bar, under the list, list item links, border, bottom, um, let's say five pixels white solid. Okay, and then maybe two pixels. All right, and then maybe I can give it margin, bottom. Or padding right because margin is the outside so that would work a little bit better and then maybe change it to one pixel and I think two pixels is good and then maybe five pixels I think that's a little bit better and then only do that when a is hovered over so let me see let me read it Nice. Oh my god, now me figuring something out. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Okay, that's great. Beautiful. Love that. Love it. Wow, that's really nice. Okay. Um all right, yeah, that's it for today then. Bye.